Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the amount of work that it takes to pump all the water out of this three-dimensional sphere. So we're given a tank. This tank is full of water, and we have to find the amount of work to pump all of this water out of the spout. So the radius of this circle, or rather this three-dimensional sphere, is 3 meters, that's the radius, and we also know that the height of this spout is 1 meter. For a circle, what you want to do is put the x and y axis at the center. So this time, the origin is at the center, and the positive y direction is upwards. Okay, so don't forget that. To empty this tank, all we have to do is move every single layer of water from here to here. Right, so this is just one layer of water, but you can imagine that there are many, many layers of water in here, just like this one. And we want to move it to the top. So we're going to move this to the top of the tank. Now, one thing to notice is that in our previous episodes, we have already established the fact that the distance from the origin to our layer of water is y. So what is this distance? Well, this distance will simply be 3 minus y. And that's because the radius is 3. The radius is 3, which means from here to here is 3. The radius is 3. And we know that this is y. So the blue distance, the blue distance right here, must be 3 minus y. So like I said, this distance will be 3 minus y, and our diagram is finished. We are prepared and ready to solve this problem. To calculate the work, we're going to use the formula that we have been using. But the only difference is that because the positive y direction is pointing upwards this time, the bottom will be down here and the top will be up here. Okay, so that's the only difference. So work will be equal to the integral from the bottom to the top, of density times distance times area. So what is the top and what is the bottom? Well, as mentioned before, we want to empty the tank from here to here, right? In order to empty the whole thing. So the top will be three and the bottom will be minus three. The density will be 9,800, right? According to our table, because the length given is in meters and so our work will be in joules. As for the distance, we're moving each layer of water to the top, right? We're moving from here to here to the top and the distance that we're moving to the top is 3 minus y. But don't forget, we're also moving it outside of the spout. So we have to move it out of the spout and we know that the height of the spout is 1 meter. So we have to plus 1. And this is the same as 4 minus y. How about the area? Well, the area of our layer of water, so that area is equal to i times the radius to the power of 2. And the radius is from here to here. And we can also call it x. So instead of writing r, I'm going to write it in terms of x. We get pi times x to the power of 2. Since our formula is dy, we have to convert the x into a y. And let me show you how to do that. We know that the equation of this entire circle, so the equation of that entire circle, is y to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of 2 because the radius is 3 meters. This means that x squared is equal to 9 minus y to the power of 2. So we found x squared, right? This is x squared. This is also x squared. So let's go ahead and put it into our area. We get i times 9 minus y to the power of 2. Now that we have the area, let's go ahead and put it back into our formula. The last step is to evaluate this integral. So since 9800 and pi 
are both constant, so we can move it outside of the integral. So the work is equal to 9,800 times pi times the integral from negative 3 to 3 of 4 minus y times 9 minus y to the power of 2. What is this going to be? Well, we have 4 minus y times 9 minus y to the power of 2. And this is equal to 36 minus 4y squared minus 9y plus y to the power of 3. We can also rewrite this as y to the power of 3 minus 4 times y to the power of 2 minus 9y plus 36. Let me save you the trouble of going through this integral. So after I went through this integral, I get 1, 4, 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, pi. This is the same as 4, 4, 3, 3, 4, 1, 5, point five five three, which is approximately 4.43 times 10 to the power of 6 duals. So this right here is the amount of work that it takes to pump all of the water out of this tank.